Hello, this is Anthony. Congratulations for your new signing up Oracle Cloud account. I'm sure many of you have these questions. How do I get my team into Oracle Cloud when you receive your account for the very first time? Today, I will walk you through the process. And at the same time, I will share with you the basic knowledge about the technology. Before we begin, I would like to do some assumptions here because our objective here today is helping you to get your team into Oracle Cloud. Hence, we believe you have completed the processes to set up your account. Here is some little notes for web browser requirements to use OCI console. When you want to get your team into Oracle Cloud, Here's the thing you need to understand, which is identity and access management. Hereafter, I will name it IAM. IAM enables you to control a group of users to assess which specific resources. Resources are referring to clouds, objects that you created in OCI. For example, instance, object, object storage, etc. These resources had a, has a unique OCI. Besides using traditional identity concepts, we introduce compartments in the services as well. What is compartment? A compartment is a collection of related resources that can be accessed only by groups that have been given permissions. Compartments help you organize and control access to your resources. Each resources belong to a single compartment, but resources can be connected or shared across compartments. Compartment can be deleted after creations and or renamed it. A compartment can have sub compartment that can be up to six levels deep. Some compartments inherit assets permissions from compartments higher up is hierarchy. When you create a policy, you need to specify which compartment to attach to it. We have examples uh, here showing in this diagram, which we created a ops compartment and two sub compartments, task and death, under it. We also create I am policy to allow group G1 to manage instance families in compartment tasks. When you sign up for OCI, Oracle sets up default administrator for the account. Default group administrator will be created. And these cannot be deleted and there must always be a, at least a user in it. Any other users placed in the administrator group will have full access to all of resources. Tenancy policy gives administrator group access to all resources. This policy can't be deleted or changed. Group compartments can hold all the cloud resources. The best practice is to create dedicated compartments when you need to isolate resources. In summary, IAM enables you to control who can do what in your OCI account. IAM service principles, which is users or groups, or instance principles. Authorization done by defining specific privilege in policy and associating them with principles. Policy are comprised of one or more human readable statements which specify what groups can access, what resources and what level of access users in that group have. Compartment has a unique OCI, is a unique OCI features that can be used to organize 
and isolate related Oracle Cloud resources. All right, let me walk you through the demo. To get your team members uh, join the Oracle Cloud account, what you need to do, click the hamburger button, look for identity and security, and choose the users. Once you get to into this page, click the create users button, and we will keep the recommended um, user type here. Put in the username that your team member would prefer to use. For example, user one, and email at their email address. Put their first name and last name as, as well. And then give them the, uh, assign them to the OCI administrator group so that they will have the same access right that you do in this OCI account. Click create. Voila, now your team members is ready. They shall receive an email for the activation, account activations. Once they have activated the account with the new password that they put in, they are good to go to log into the account portal. Once you have logged in into OCI, it will redirect to the homepage as you can see here. Look for identity and security and click on it for more information. Under identity, there are a couple of services available. Today, we will focus on user, group, compartment, policy, and federation. Let's start off with compartment. Let's say we would like to have a new environment for sandboxing. And we would like to create a compartment called sandbox. We proceed to call, uh, create compartment. Fill out necessary information. And then we click create compartment. With that, your compartment will be ready. In this case, I'm not going to proceed to create it as I already have the sandbox uh, compartment ready over here. Next, we want to let certain user to manage instance that be created in sandbox compartment. First, we need to create a group. Go to identity and security. Click the group. Click create group and put in the unique name for your group. For example, in this case, I would like to create sandbox group. Descriptions. Test group. Then click create. In this case, I will not create it because I already created it before. So you will be ready to go with your uh, group that you created. Remember, we need at least a policy in order to allow a group of users manage the resources under the compartment. Let's create the policy to give the sandbox group permission in the sandbox compartment. Click the policy. Pressure in, in the same compartment. Click create. And you can give it any name here.
and we can use this policy builder to help us to build the policy for our IAM policy. Or if you are adventurous enough, you can actually try the manual way by giving all the policy that you would like to uh, print for your sandbox environment. In this case, I will just use the policy builder to help you uh, easily build the policy. We have numbers of use case under the policy use cases right, for you to choose. We would like to go for compute management. Under here, we have common policy templates that for you to choose. As we would like to um, let the users manage the compute instance, I will use these templates instead. From here, we would like to choose the sandbox group that we have created previously and which compartment that would like to allow for this group to manage the instance. Great. So now we have our IAM policy being created for our compartment set box. Um, the next thing we need to do is we need to create a um, sandbox group uh, again in the IDCS uh, federations. Let's go to um, identity and security and choose the federations. And this is our IDCS services uh, that um, allow cus customers to have a federations uh, within the service. Let's go into this service and go to the group. Great IDCS group, even a name like this, or if you want to uh, separate the name to in order to easy uh, for identification, you can actually add the name like this, IDCS uh, underscore sandbox group, and put the description over here. And you might actually add the users uh, if you want. But in this case, uh, since we have not created the users, so, um, we will be just leave it at, at least for now and click create and the group will be created. In this case, I already created the sandbox group for that. After we created um, IDCS uh, group, we need to map the group to the group that we have created uh, previously. So click the app mapping. Choose the group that we created in uh, IDCS and choose the group that we want to map in our OIC and click add mapping. In this case, I already mapped the group uh, previously. So you, as you can see over here. You may ask, why do we need to have this step to create another group? This is because we would like to use Oracle Identity Cloud Service. Uh, Oracle. I didn't call service uh, here after I will name it IDCS. It's a cloud native service providing holistic coverage of identity and access uh, use cases for employees, partners, and consumers, and enabling management of access and entitlement across a wide range of cloud and on prem applications. Is zero trust strategy positions identity as the security parameter across expanding IT landscape. Oracle is planning to unify IAM and IDCS in coming future. For now, we have to follow this step to complete the setup. So now we have our group ready and as well as IAM policies ready for our compartment sandbox. Let's proceed to create a users. Quick create users. Treating the username you would like to given, for example, sandbox. Clean your email address. And quick create. Uh, you may straight away uh, assign the user that you're going to create uh, that you would like to put into the group that we have created previously. Once you create this, the users that you create for 
uh, here with the email address shall receive the email for them to activate the account. Once they have changed their password, they will be able to log into the portal. In this case, I already created the users called Sandbox and Sandbox user already assigned to Sandbox group, as you can see. Once the users log in, in the console, they were able to go to the compartments sandbox over here to look for the compute instance that you uh, previously have been created by you. And from here, they can start to work on their projects. I hope now you get the way how to get your team on board to your Oracle Cloud account. Happy learning. Thank you. See you again.